I'm um I'm making this video. I, I just watched a um a video done by Dr. James White in response to Yusuf Estes on a Dean show. Um, this is a discussion that they had in regards to the Trinity, and um, this is one of the topics that motivated me to actually show my face on YouTube, um, because. I think Dr. White makes an error here, um, and, but I am, I'm just at all with your mind, and you know, I think you're one of the greatest scholars, if you happen to watch this video, um, and I do follow you, I'm your subscriber, and just, I just, I just love your work, man, and I wish sometimes, I just, sometimes I wish, I, I want to be like you, to where I can stand face to face with I don't want to say other religions, and please, I don't want to say that because I just want to face others that have this unbiblical well, uh, following. You can call it cult or paganism, and, and just confront them and, and do apologetics. But I've only been regenerated for three years. Jesus has dragged me into his kingdom kicking and screaming and now we just I just love it and but I think the question at hand was that the host on the Dean show asked Estes if Abraham Noah Moses believed in the Trinity um, yeah it's in the Bible because uh, they lived it and I just believed it they lived it and that's it because it was a family affair the trin the God function the, the the his functioning of the Trinity was a family affair. The pagans wouldn't understand it. Actually, God did whatever way he means he wanted to communicate to to um, to his elect, which is Abraham, that was dragged out of paganism. And when Islam sometimes says that Abraham was a Muslim, I do believe them. Right before Yahweh intervened with him. Now, on but I want to go to Genesis chapter 3 real quick to just prove that this God of the Bible does uh, he's not up there like Allah just invisible sitting up there he's not this God of the Torah does manifest himself in a person um, in Genesis chapter 3 verses uh, 8 then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord this is when they're hiding after they sinned they heard the sound of the Lord obviously he has a physical ability because he's thrashing and making noise and he's and, and he was walking in the garden as the cool of the day so he had legs and feet he was walking as a person and they hid from the Lord God among the trees so it says Lord God so if I was a Muslim let's assume for a moment let's replace the Lord and God in Allah for a moment and the man and the, his wife heard the sound of Allah and he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day and they hid from Allah among the trees of the garden then see Muslim wouldn't make sense Islam doesn't make sense I don't even know why Islam mentions the Torah I don't know because could it be because the only true word of God is the Bible when you have to force yourself or criticize it I don't know why there's so much attention or so much force feeding themselves into the, 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 the Bible then of course we go to Genesis chapter 18 for lack of time and over here um, Abraham sees uh, the Lord appear to Abraham of course appearance is visual Genesis 18 1 Genesis 18 1 and 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 uh, and then if you go uh, to verses two, Genesis eighteen verses two, Abraham looked up. Of course, there's a visual contact. He sees three men. But if you go back to Genesis sixteen and seventeen, Abraham, I mean, God Yahweh was appearing to Abraham through visions. But when he sees the men here, he doesn't even ask him, "Who are you trespassing? What are you doing here?" No, his spirit connects. That that God that was showing himself in a vision earlier, in earlier of his life, 
there he's manifested in a person. What does Abraham do? And if you look at verses uh, 2, at the end of verses 2, he hurried into the entrance of the tent, meet them, and bowed low to the ground. Bowing low to the ground. So he bows low and worships. So Islam, if they knew Abraham, then they would have stoned him to death because here he is bound to a man. Isn't that what they claim about Christianity? So Abraham would have been beheaded right there. Okay, and, and then we go to, uh, quickly, to let's go to Genesis eighteen twenty-seven. What does Abraham say at the end of this conversation? Then Abraham spoke up again, now that I have been so bold as to speak to the Lord, though I am nothing but dust and ashes. He was speaking to this man face to face, and he calls him God. Again, stoning to Abraham by Islam. He appears to Moses in the bushes, and he speaks from the burning bush. He appears to him with fire. Moses didn't say, oh no, man. You can't be God. You can't be God because Allah that I know, he's, He doesn't show Himself. No, He takes His sandals off. Okay? I want to go to Genesis 32 real quick. Genesis 32. Let's go to Jacob for a moment. Jacob, uh, Genesis 32, verses 24. Genesis 32, 24. So Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him and until daybreak. He wrestled with a man. He sustains physical injury. Verses 28, Jacob's name changes forever and ever. Then the man said, <coughs> Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God, and with men have overcome. See, let's assume he struggled with a man, but that's not the case. Look how Jacob concludes, because Jacob, is, according to Islam, he's about to be stoned to death here in a second, and beheaded. Let's go to verses 29. Genesis 32, 29. Jacob said, Please tell me your name, but he replied, Why do you ask my name? That's the man that wrestled Jacob. And, he, and then he blessed him there. Would a mere man bless another man that way, where he makes a nation out of him? But watch this. Genesis 32, 30, 30, 30. Genesis 30 to 30. So Jacob called the place Penel, saying, It's because I saw God face to face, and yet my life was spared. He saw God face to face, and his life was spared. Picture this. Jacob walks into town. And his Muslim Islam buddies are standing around and he says, I saw Allah face to face, man, today. Yeah, I bowed to him and I actually named the place after him. And he changed my name. Allah did. That would be one big giant stone party, wouldn't it? They would behead him to death. My question is, I don't know why Islam refers to the Bible or the Torah. See, there's your trinity. This is what Christians are saying, that God of heavens can manifest to, to us in any way He wants. When He was talking to Moses in Exodus, in the burning bush, what does He say? Exodus chapter 3, verses 5. Exodus chapter 3, verses 5. Do not come any closer, He said, God, take off your sandals. This is at the burning bush. For the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Here we go. God is here in a burning bush now. Over there he's in a person walking to the tent. Over here he's in a vision. Trinity. You don't like the word, get rid of it, but... It's an action right here, right in Genesis. Any Muslims, I invite you please to respond to this.